Today I'm going to talk to you guys about how I take the metal cases for my trail cameras, especially my tacticams, and I use some stencils to make them a little bit more camouflage so they're more difficult for not only people, but also deer to see in the woods. Hey folks, it's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. Pretty much all done with my scouting in New York State, and now it's time to start thinking about prepping cameras to get them out here in the next month and a half. Uh, it's the middle of April. I don't plan on getting cameras out until uh, end of May, beginning of June, but I know last year I had some cameras out in the woods that absolutely stood out like a sore thumb. Uh, not only trying to camouflage and hide those from deer, but also trying to camouflage and hide those from people so I'm not advertising those areas that I think may be quality spots to hunt for some mature bucks. <music> One of the techniques and processes that I always use when I'm camouflaging things is to put light colored paints over dark colors and dark colored paints over light colors. Uh, this year I've actually got four Tacticams. Uh, I've got cases from two separate companies. One company the cases are like a, a taupe or tan that you see right here and the other company I have uh, they're kind of a chocolate brown. So I've already taken one case that you see right here in the bottom was the same as the one up top, which had this tan or taupe colored base to it. And I took some uh, stencils I got off Amazon uh, that were bark stencils. And I went ahead and put the uh, stencil on there and painted it with a black. And then I went over top of it with a little bit of some green colors like it might mimic some moss growing on that tree and try to dull those black tones out just a little bit. All I'm trying to do is take these cameras and make them a little bit more difficult for deer to see and also a little bit more difficult for people to see. One thing that's really important about painting the cases to these cameras or painting sticks or painting stands is to get that painting done as early as you possibly can. I didn't have this idea till the winter or I would have done this last fall, but what I've decided to do now is to paint all these cases to get them to match tree bark a little bit better and conceal them. So I'm going to go ahead right now over the next two days, I'm going to get different layers of paint put on these and then I'm going to let them soak and sit outside for two months to dissipate as much of the smell as I possibly can before I go put these cameras out in June. So I put this first gray coat on these two trail cameras and these three cases, made sure it's out on a sunny day so that it's going to go ahead and dry fairly quickly, fairly evenly and uh, I'll put it away and uh, I'll come back tomorrow and I'll go ahead and start with the next color. Now I'm gonna go ahead and paint this darker color, the black that I have here, a flat black, using the stencil over top of the light gray to give it more of a bark appearance. It worked really well on the flat cases. So to save some time here, I ended up doing uh, the bottom, one of the sides and the top. I'll let that dry for about a half hour. Then I'll come out and uh, I'll do the other side and I'll do the top. And that way, really, it'll only take me uh, two painting times with the black and two drying times until I can get into the green. So I'm now putting the third color over. I'm taking the stencil, and I've got a, a brown that's really a light brown, almost a brownish gray color that's going over top just to kind of cut down the uh, sharp angles of the black and just give it a little bit more of a three-dimensional appearance. So I did that on three sides. I'll go back after these dry, do it on the other three sides. So the final thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to touch up with a little bit of green in some places, and the green just acts kind of like what you see with some of the lichens and the mosses on some trees. I'm not going to go crazy with it, just a little bit. Just 
touching up areas with black over some of the green so the green isn't so brilliant. Kind of gives it a little bit of an alligator effect. almost done on a day that's partly cloudy what the heck oh well maybe give her a more natural look right cameras are out tact cam cases are painted it's time to let these babies sit for about six weeks eight weeks until the end of may beginning of june when i'm going to get them out and put them in the field the last thing i did on these cameras just to make them look like it was a little bit more natural bark appearance was i put my stencils on the last time and i used that light gray paint that i started with but i held the aerosol can about 18 inches to two feet away from the actual stencil itself so that it was really kind of spotty and kind of looked more like natural bark that you would see on the tree. With three different colors, it kind of hides it a little bit better. Camouflage is never gonna be perfect, but the biggest thing with these camera cases is that they're big, boxy, and square. And if you can break out the vertical and horizontal outlines of these squares, it's gonna make it a lot more difficult for both deer and people to see. I think I should probably wrap it up. Wind's starting to ratchet up a little bit. Some dark clouds up there, and there's rain on the way. Great morning, found a deadhead, found the shed, got the ladder stand I needed, got some grapevines, and finished up my video for my camo on my camera cases. I hope this video helped you understand how you can begin to get your trail cameras and cases prepped because it's only about six to eight weeks away before they start going out in the woods sometime end of May or beginning of June. Hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. Hoping you guys have a great day. See ya. Most trail cameras that I purchase now are camouflaged, but I've got a couple of old wild game cameras that I've had for over 10 years and still work really well in photo mode. But if you take a look, there's absolutely no camouflage on these. They're black, and even though it's a flat black, it's got a little bit of a reflective sheen on it. So I'm gonna mess around with these two black wild game cameras, and I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and put some different colors with the stencils on and camouflage these up just a bit so they're a little bit more difficult to see when they're on trees this coming up season. Big difference compared to when it was black. I think that's going to make it a lot more difficult to be seen 